Libra. This is Amber with Labs and Sync to Row. This will be your reading for July 15th through 31st, 2017. Thank you so much for returning or welcome if you are a new, a new viewer. Um, I'm doing my readings a little bit differently. For this uh, second half of the month, I will be doing a basic spread, which is nine cards an overall card and be separating it into love for singles, love for couples, money and career, and then um, spiritual guidance within that spread. Okay. Um, for the following months, um, starting in August, I'll be doing just um, four separate readings for each sign. So for you, I will have one for singles, one for couples, one for career money, and another for spiritual guidance. So each zodiac sign will receive four readings for one month, plus the dailies um, and whatever spirit guides need to do. But for right now, that's what I'll be doing, okay? So I'll also be shuffling on camera now, Libra. So this is your reading for the 15th through 31st of July. Okay. You have the Seven of Cups in Reverse, the Three of Swords Upright, the Four of Swords in Reverse, the Magician in Reverse, the Three of Pentacles in the Upright, Ten of Wands in the Upright, Knight of Swords, Seven of Pentacles in Reverse, and the Six of Wands in Reverse. Overall energy is the Emperor in Reverse. I'll just take that off of there. And your love cards, Libra. Let's see what you have. it Libra okay so for singles you have attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully beautiful okay okay Libra So the Emperor in Reverse is about not taking control, okay? Not taking the right kind of control or trying to take too much control of a situation. And by doing that, you are not really taking control. That's what I'm hearing, okay? So it can go either way for, for singles and couples, actually. It looks like there's someone for singles and I'm hearing before I'm even messing with the cards that is someone that you really like okay which confirms the attraction card you've made a decision on this person but the decision that you've made is to really go with the flow of things, okay? Um, I don't see you trying to push this energy. 
I see you just letting it flow. And there's a there's possibly a separation between you two. Um, I feel as though you see each other from time to time, but there's no real solid connection with this person. <coughs> Excuse me. Like as far as a commitment goes. And you're being extremely patient and waiting it out. But what's been keeping you busy is that you've been busy with other things in your life. Okay. I'm hearing that you're trying to work something out with someone else um, that doesn't have to do with this relationship though um, like maybe I, I feel as though you're seeing other people but this person is the person that you really have on your mind Because you can't figure out how to get this person to to go with you or see you in the way that you see them. Um, even though they may say they do, their actions are saying differently. You would like to have the power to to manifest this relationship to make it actually come into being. I feel like you've done that. You've you've tried to do that. And that's what made you come to the conclusion of letting things flow. I feel like you're going to communicate with this person, explain to them the frustration that you feel that this relationship hasn't been flowing. It's like you're in this mindset of I have been seeing other people. But that's only because you will not allow me to be with you. I feel like you say this to them. But for some reason it doesn't it doesn't bring them back, okay? It doesn't bring them back, but I feel as though you get this communication out that you've been wanting to get out. It's like you make it clear how you feel about this person all the way. I'm, I'm feeling ultimatum, but not as rough because if they want it to come back, it will be okay for them to do that um, but you're definitely expressing yourself expressing how you feel okay Libra so I'm gonna pull the clarifiers let's see we'll do the three of pentacles The Four of Swords, the Knight of Swords, I want to see what kind of communication comes in, and the Six of Wands. Okay. Okay, so on the Four of Swords, I see you taking a rest or deciding to go with the flow because they're not cooperating with you. Um, I feel as though they're doing little things to keep you around, but you're not quite clear on where it's headed. And what I mean by that is they haven't officially said you are the one or you're not the one. And that's a problem for you at this time. Three of Pentacles.
you are seeing other people because you still want to be happy you still want to be feel secure and it helps at the moment it helps complete those feelings at the moment that the the knowing that someone wants you you may be dealing specifically with um a taurus virgo or capricorn or aries leo or sagittarius as well um, i'm also hearing that there could be someone uh, helping you be more independent um, coming to rush in to save you financially which this isn't career money but that comes in as well knight of swords this communication is trying to rekindle this relationship okay trying to see if there's anything left to to hold on to okay to transform this relationship because right now there is no stability and you would like stability maybe you're asking this person to move in with you because you don't see any direction so you're trying to to gain some direction and at this point you're just being or whoever this is is being impulsive because they just really want this to happen and they can't think of anything else to to do or say so you end up with the six of wands and I definitely do feel because it is in reverse that there's failure or disappointment some sort of loss okay and that's because of all the all the burdens all the responsibility that you've taken in within this situation you just want to win okay um you're not getting the recognition that you would like so due to this you're deciding to let it go some of you are deciding to let it go some of you are trying to figure out um what to do to not make this so unhealthy and for some of you, that does mean letting it go. But that's really up to you, Libra. Okay. Oh, I don't have to move those. <laughs> for couples, you have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Okay. So it looks like someone or you've made a decision to uh, go away with each other. Um, or, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, separate something or change something in the relationship with the Three of Swords. Okay. Um, something is changing because you both need a rest um you both need a <clears throat> excuse me a rest with the relationship i feel like there's a lot of stuff that has been going on or something has been happening because i feel the energy of movement or a lot of things going on <clears throat> but you have decided that it's time for you to break away from whatever these problems or emotional turmoil was and take a rest okay this may be a vacation because I do get that with the honeymoon card a lot or some sort of change that needs to be made um, due to needing a rest it's all about needing a rest or some kind of time off <clears throat> now you need this to regain um, the status of the relationship or regain the love and the affection communication action okay things like that is what you're trying to bring back into the relationship because you're both willing to work together okay on whatever the burdens are in this relationship that you had to take the rest from
And for some reason, spirit is leaving me with that. It's like you need to take a, a break from other people being involved in the relationship or other... other influences I'll say that because it might not even be people because that's not helping the relationship grow okay so that's what why you need to take that break so I'm gonna pull some clarifiers on the three of swords let's see what the issue is the ten of wands your burdens The Knight of Swords, which is your communication. And what this is that isn't growing. Okay. <clears throat> so I was directed to the Emperor in reverse for couples. Okay. And in this situation, this is about releasing control okay releasing the need to take over of this relationship or this situation and it's tires is tiresome for you and that's why you need to take this break or relax okay now on the three of swords <clears throat> You're actually taking a risk or um, seeking some sort of adventure or spont spontaneity in, in your relationship, okay? You need something new, something to awaken the passions and, and awaken you inside. And you need to let go. There's something you need to let go of. Um, maybe your physical place of of living like your shelter or your home or condo apartment um, it may even be people or a job or something it, but you need it in order to like feel love again or feel abundance or feel nurtured and feel warm and feel happy so you have to let that you have to take a break for now for these burdens, it's about work, home, um, filling it in balance between your love life and your responsibilities, okay? And that's what you've been trying to over control, okay? Because you're trying to get everything together. Um, I feel for some of you, you're getting everything together for something specifically, um, but not necessarily. It's just you trying to be successful and independent and... Um, Like being able to take care of things together or even alone is, is really what that the burden and the focus is. So on the Knight of Swords, it's like you dis, you, you're communicating the fact that this has been bad for you both. Okay. Um, and you just need love to come back in and passion and um all this responsibility and all of this thinking of all of these different things have been holding you back from doing that and that, that's that's really what you need okay having so much direction it, it's so funny because i feel that you've had so much direction towards manifesting something for yourself trying to make something happen that now you need to take a break you need to do something that has no direction you need to what you're trying to do is drop everything f what everybody else has to say because this is your time that's what it feels like okay and exactly all of this focus on on career and stability and home and trying to make everything happen you've been very focused and that's the only thing that you've been focused on okay and you haven't been happy um you're having like 
it it delays your happiness because you're trying to focus on getting everything together so much that you've lost that that feeling of love or that feeling of excitement and that's what you're trying to get back by going with the flow more now instead of focusing on um stability and things like that okay all right libra now we're going to go into your career career of money actually and that is the wrong day Those are very good <clears throat> intuitive cards, if I say so myself. And I do want to say also that they're all major arcana cards. So you're going through some real changes or some real effects um, when it comes to your uh, career and money situation. Okay? I mean, not real effects, some real changes. <laughs> Okay, so your oracle card is artist. Engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career and every other area of your life. Okay. So this is about you. Um, okay. <clears throat> when it comes to career with the emperor card, what you've been doing is trying to um, control your finances and money the best way that you know how but you've been doing a little bit too much of trying to control things and not letting uh not letting things flow in or not letting the ideas flow in not actually wanting to make changes what i'm feeling is like you want more money you want stability, but you weren't ready to make the changes you needed to make in order to get that because you had a plan or you had an idea and that was the one that you wanted to go with. Okay, so it looks like you had to face some facts. Okay. Um, you had a lot of different options or a lot of different things going on. Um, when it comes to your career and money, uh, a lot of things you needed to pay out, a lot of responsibilities that you had, but you've decided to let go and let God, as they say, okay? And there was something that you needed to separate from, okay? And this was actually a good thing, okay? Um, it was, you needed to do this in order to see that you had too many things going on, okay? You had too many things going on and it was like you had to release those things. I get like someone throwing their hands back like releasing, okay? But it was something that you had to face. You had to listen to yourself, okay? And almost have compassion for yourself in order to see these things. That you didn't need these things. And they had to, and you had to let them go, okay? And I looked at this card and I heard like a starving artist. So for some of you, that's how you're living, okay? Like a starving artist. But it's better for you in a soul's, in a soul cleansing way, okay? Um, you're using this time now, all this extra um, time and free energy since all of that energy isn't 
um, taken up by your responsibilities to regain your power and work on new things. Okay, work on a new self for you or money. For some of you out here, partnership, you're partnering with what could be an artist or has something to do with art or um, painting or sculpture or you're partnering with people to help you with your responsibilities. Okay, um, maybe you are learning a new skill or becoming an artist. Um, because I see our, I see creativity, doing something creative. Someone is um, doing that to help with the burdens. Um, be sure to not put too much on you because this rest came for a reason. Because you needed it. Um, but this newfound partnership or um, artistic ability that you are now utilizing is really good for you. It's like you made a decision to, to pair with something that is nurturing to your soul. Thank you, Spirit. Okay? So, it's like making a decision to, to come together with your, to express yourself on a, a new level level or a new way of living um something of that nature okay thank you spirit Oof, that was a lot okay and i see you just coming into yourself here when it comes to money Allow this energy to flow though, okay? Because I'm feeling that you still want to go back to the old way. Because I feel like things start to get good and you get very um, deep into your thoughts. And very hasty and action oriented, okay? When it comes to your finances and your career. And it sets you back. Because you feel like you're not getting the rewards quick enough, okay? But it's not, this is the thing, it's not about others or it's not about getting more money at this time. It's not about that. It's, it's about finding something that makes you happy, something that you want to do. And this will give you back that solid foundation or that structure. I feel like what's missing here is not, I mean, it, is, it could be money. I'm not saying that. But what's missing is you doing something that feeds your creativity, okay? Or having something that has to do with creativity feed into your career or your money sector. And that, in, in turn, will give you more solid foundation or structure, okay? All right, Libra, I'm going to do clarifiers on the Three of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, so we can figure out what this is, the Knight of Swords. And the six of swords. Okay. Okay, so on the three of swords. Yeah, that separation that you had from those old things or old ways or or um, old situations is really about you letting go some of the thought your thoughts. I feel like you were worrying doing a lot of worrying, doing a lot of thinking. And this is a way to help balance out some of your emotions, okay? So you can have this, this new energy or this enthusiasm back into your life. For some of you, you've been really sad, okay? And this is just a way to, to bring that joy and growth and strength and creativity back into your life, okay? Um, for the Three of Pentacles,
it looks like you need to pick up whatever this new thing is and maybe another person or activity uh, anything like that the thing that you um, will be I feel like it's almost given to you charity wise like here this is something you need and it could be a person bringing it to you it could be the universe or divine energy your spirit guides bringing this to you but it's something that you have to to look out for and be open enough to accept okay because right now you're very um emotionally i want to say cold or unstable it's like um spirit give me the words it's like you're blocking everything out from all of these thoughts that you previously had okay it's like um you've kind of you've picking up this energy of like giving up hope but you don't need to do that okay um because inside you you definitely want something different and that wanting something different is just a a key it's like a key word that spirit is trying to give to you uh in order for you to look or be ready to accept these things okay so you can grow because right now what you're doing is not paying off for you okay um and you need to pay attention to the details all right knight of swords uh, you have an opportunity for prosperity lovely great for a money reading okay um this is money success coming into you a message of those things okay and be careful about how you um handle it um there may be some conflict or some um be sure to pay attention to your bills be sure to pay attention to responsibilities that you have okay um as well as you trying to gain this new perspective because I feel like someone's coming in when they hear that you've got some money or a new job or a new situation someone's coming in for something maybe payment or maybe help But I feel like you're not even going to you're so focused on what's going on and I, I'm not saying that you're not going to pay attention to it but just be aware of any opportunities coming in to you okay make sure that they're worth giving to make sure that you are reviewing the situation before you do that's what I'll say about that okay six of wands in reverse this is about going with the flow having faith because you have the temperance and the will of fortune okay the will of fortune is about um, changes happening a different direction from where you were before temperance in reverse it's all about injustice okay so I feel as though when you feel these changes or you feel that uh, maybe the responsibility is too much or um, that you feel like a failure that things are just changing and you need to have patience and go with the flow make a decision be clear on why you're making these changes and that they're better for you they're your new foundation okay you have to go past your limits to grow and that's where you are right now and that's why it feels so tough okay and let's see what you have spiritually libra We'll do your surrender card first, Libra. 
Surrender to non-action. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power and let others come to you. Why does that not surprise me, Libra? That's about being patient. It's about not trying to over control a situation or not trying to control a situation. Okay. But I really feel like it's more over control. And this is this is about letting go and letting God. I said that again in one of the in the other readings, Spirit told me that. But it's just about letting things flow. What well, by taking non-action, you are allowing yourself to remain open to possibility so you can hear. You're not moving around too much. Your thoughts are not occupied. So you're able to focus on what's important or what is um try what is what spirit is trying to give to you. Thank you. Imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Interesting. So you had artist as your card for career. And imagination says to me that it's about you opening up new aspects of yourself. Things that you've never even thought of. Things that you've never even assumed about yourself. Okay, You will be opening those up. Because this is what you need to effectively express yourself okay because that's that's something that you need you need that fire back that passion that oomph as they say <laughs> so so that's what that's about and that's why imagination comes out for you to have that childlike imagination again okay that feeling of joy that you felt before okay body care and body care is about taking care of yourself. And by doing these things, you are taking care of your body. You don't have to exercise or or um, do yoga or, or eat right, blah, 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 just to take care of yourself. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't do those things because you always should, okay? I do want to specify. But there are other ways to take care of your body. By listening to your soul, you take care of your body. By effectively expressing yourself you take care of your body by enjoying life you take care of your body okay um anything that has to do with the arts because i, I keep getting a lot of that a lot of hands-on creativity expressing yourself you may be writing it could be anything that also takes care of yourself it also shows divine energy how much you care for the vessel that your soul is in Thank you, spirit. That That is something that also is very encouraging, okay? Let's see if I can pick up anything else, spirit. No, because doing all these things, you'll regain your power. All right, thank you. All right, Libra, that was your reading. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe. If you would like a private reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Just follow the link in the description box below. Also, if you are feeling generous and would like to donate to me at this time, I will be more than grateful. Thank you again in advance. <laughs> and that link is in the description box below as well. I love you very much. Love and light. Bye-bye.